I'm Evan Netch. I'm here at Kitty Hawk Kites Resort, and this is the 2020 Cabrina Crosswing. Um, a lot of brands are coming out with these, these wings, and this is Cabrina's, uh, Cabrina's version. Comes in four square meters, um, and, and what Cabrina's done is they've done, they've gone the route with, with handles, handles down the center strut. Um, for me, I haven't spent a whole lot of time on a lot of wings out there, but I've actually found the handles to be really nice because one is when you're climbing up onto the board, whether it's an SCP or a foil board, and you're on your hands and your knees and you're, get, you're using both hands to get up, and this gives you the ability to kind of still hold on to it easily, um, but have, have the use of your hand to, to maneuver yourself up on the board. Um, it comes with a leash. It's actually a bicep leash. You'll notice it's really big. Um, the first time I got it, I thought, oh, it's kind of big for a wrist leash, and then I realized it's for your arm, and it, it's quite, quite nice just because it kind of helps keep that leash out of the way when you're driving and tacking it and moving your hands around. It keeps it from getting wrapped up kind of around your wrist or, or in your hand where you're, where you're grabbing, where you're grabbing the wing. Um, take a close look down the center strut. You can see they've just got a piece of material behind it, kind of give the, give the wing a nice deep curve, create a pocket here and, and create a lot of power. Um, there's a lot of scuff guards, you know, you've got scuff guards around the wing tip. You know, if you're riding, they'll be bumping the board, the water, maybe kind of dragging it on the ground a bit going out. So they've really tried to reinforce, you know, certain areas of the wing um, while keep this wing light. Um, lightness is, is the key in these things. You know, if you're riding on a foil board and you're cruising downwind, right now it's blowing seven or eight miles an hour. It's super light, but you can see it just kind of floats in the air really easily. So you want to be able to be able to cruise straight at it and not have it kind of drop out. Um, so, so keeping the weight to minimal is certainly, is certainly a key. Um, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the materials are the same as Cabrina uses on the rest of their kite range. They've got the high tenacity Dacron leading edge, um, same valve system, one pump. And, um, yeah, that's about it. You know, the, you know, the crosswing is really just built around simplicity. So whether you're using it on a, you know, a small, you know, prone style foil board doing deep water starts, which is certainly more challenging. Um, or if you're on an SUP foil, or I know, um, just had Sam was out cruising around on an SUP out front here on it a few minutes ago. Um, with, without a foil, you know, you know, the crosswing really has that, that versatility to kind of get you on the water wherever you are, whether you're in an awesome kiteboarding location like the Outer Banks where we are now, or maybe you live, maybe you live on a lake or somewhere inland and you don't have quite that accessibility. You don't have the ability to rig lines, lay everything out on the beach, but you still want to get out on the water. Um, I think what this does is really opens up the door to water sports, to foiling, um, to, to wind sports for, for a lot of people. And, and I think for people that already kite, you know, it's not necessarily replacing kiting for me, but the, the new challenge of learning something new and just having a different feel in the water is really, I think, really, really fun. So for more information on the Cabrina Crosswing, the rest of the Cabrina line foils to go with this wing, check out kittyhawkkiteboarding.com or give a call in to the store.